Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of what happens if you plug a Kinect into the Xbox Series X. So, as you can see here, I finally have an Xbox Series X, and yeah, it's a pretty awesome console actually, but it is also pretty big, so I don't have a proper setup for it yet. That's why it's kind of just on a side here, because, you know, it, it doesn't fit where my One uh, X used to be. But anyways, um... So officially, Microsoft has said the Xbox Series X does not support the Kinect sensor, and therefore, Kinect games do not work either. You know, they, they did originally say that like pretty much all Xbox One games would be backwards compatible on the Xbox Series X, but as we've seen, there are indeed some exceptions. Officially, the, the, you know, the main exception was Kinect games, but you know, yesterday's video also showed you that some other games, well, one other game like China MCZ did not also work on the uh, Series X for some reason. But anyways, here you can see the game Dance Central Spotlight. It is uh, it is a Kinect exclusive game. You do need a Kinect to play it. And you can see in the bottom right corner it has a little symbol there that shows you that this game is not compatible. And if you do try to launch it anyways, it will give you this message here saying that it's not compatible and that games that require Kinect will not work on the Series X. And I assume it will be the exact same on the Series S as well. Because both... Uh, both consoles officially do not support the Kinect sensor. So, with that in mind, what happens if we did plug in the Kinect anyways? Would, would it work? Would something happen? Well, fortunately, I do still have this uh, Kinect adapter here. This is the adapter that you would use when plugging your Kinect into uh, either the PC or a uh, Xbox One S or the Xbox One X. So, yeah, I know it's a lot of... Uh, letters there uh, for all the Xbox consoles but uh, anyways the uh, the adapter you know it, it does work pretty well and I've used it before for um, my One X and on PC for uh, other stuff so let's see what happens if we now plug it into the Series X so here we go just gonna plug into the front USB port and well nothing nothing happened the uh, Series X, it, did, I don't, it had no reaction at all. There was no pop-up on the screen, no prompt. However, the uh, adapter here, the LED light on it did change from orange to white, meaning it does recognize that the Kinect sensor was plugged in and is somewhat active compared to before. So that's basically the only thing that's different. Uh, you know, if we, um, if we go into the settings on the Series X, there isn't even a settings uh, for the with the connect anymore. If you go to the device section, you know, normally on any Xbox One console, be it the OG Xbox One, the One S, or the One X, there would be a uh, section for the Kinect sensor under devices and connections. And that's there where you could like calibrate your Kinect sensor or, you know, turn on like certain features or turn off certain features. But yeah, that that entire section for the Kinect is not even in the settings anymore on the Series X. Even though the whole UI, the settings, the the home screen, everything is the exact same as um, on the Xbox One, the uh, the Kinect sensor is removed from it completely. And plugging it in has like absolutely no reaction at all on the Series X. No pop-ups, no notification, nothing. And of course, even though it's plugged in, you know, the, the, the uh, if, if the Kinect was working, it would also have like a white LED light on the Xbox logo on the Kinect. But that's not lit up. Only the adapters lit up. And likewise, even though it's plugged in now, the, uh, the game Dense Central Spotlight, as well as pretty much every other uh, Kinect game that you can find, will not work. It's, it's uh, you know, same thing, the little, little icon in the bottom right corner, it doesn't, uh, doesn't change. It still says it's not compatible and starting it up doesn't work either. So yeah, there you guys have it. Um, I guess <laughs> it really was no reason to doubt Microsoft on this. Uh, it's not like they had, like, had some like secret connect feature uh, happen if you uh, plug it in. But you know, it's still uh, pretty interesting uh, to see what happens, like just to verify that to see what, what actually happens if you do plug in it in regardless. But there you guys have it. If you plug in the connect sensor, nothing happens on the Series X. Doesn't even recognize it. But anyways, hopefully you guys did uh, find this video to be interesting. If you did enjoy, then as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave thoughts and comments. Any anything else you want to check out or test out on Series X, just let me know in the comments below. But other than that, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.